and what is up everyone and welcome back to more the world of magic with Mei Lee, the main warrior of our little gameplay we have going on here and in today's video as you can see at the bottom of the screen we are finally to level 14 now I will say that I had to start grinding earlier yesterday to reach level level I mean sorry 99% today because I sleep before 6 and I woke up at 12 so <laughs> yeah so anyways in today's video we're gonna reach low 14 that's right and now we're gonna unlock the long sword but before I tell you guys the story after that we're gonna go level up so let's go to Rataz let's use our pirate coins that we have in our inventory to level to level 14 and there we go level 14 now we have to start over at a new level yes 1.15 I mean sorry 1.15 that's right here we are we are now one okay that was kind of a moment ruiner <laughs> someone called me again Oh my god, I'm just gonna have to start living on Do Not Disturb. Okay, so we are now one more level away from the final level of this series, which I don't think I'm gonna get to last episode because I do want to do some things about this series before I end it, you know. But now that we're level 14, you know, we have to save our skill points. And seeing as we only have three of them, you know, for Slam, Rage, and Toughness. All low 15 skills you are going to want and you should absolutely have so it's a need um so now oh right I forgot um take this thing off I only wear this whenever I'm not recording so people know that I don't wear this in my videos just to give people the hint you know oh well he's not recording you know you're good to walk around you can talk to me I'm not recording every single day I log in the world of magic that would just be way too much even for me to do but now that we have now we're at level 14 it's time to equip the long sword that's right level 14 weapon in order to get more damage oh but wait wasn't it just in this bag i think it was in this bag i'm not sure oh that's right because as i've said before with fast selling i'm one of those players myself so I accidentally sold the sword because I was, I was, okay, so I was farming in Woody Wordy Forest and then I started killing boars for leather. I picked up a bunch of swords. I thought, okay, might be a good idea to get some gold so maybe I can afford the green powder and, what the fuck is this? Uh, God, I have no idea how anybody can remember this quest. Uh, I don't even know where I put it. Here it is. Green, green powder times 10 and green crystal times 3. Yes, that's right. Now, unfortunately, I did not get all these items. But I do remember, thanks to my brother, he told me that he has green powder. So, yeah, we can always go get it from him after I cut. But, yeah, I sold my sword accidentally because I thought it was a basic sword. And because it had no stats on it, I thought it was a regular, normal sword. So, yeah, I, I sold it, okay? I sold it. On accident. I was double tapping through everything and I sold it. But, in that whole entire process, we are now back up to 57,000. Too bad I don't want farms on this server, because, so I really don't know what the heck's happening here. It's kind of hard to tell whether people actually farm it or whatever but i guess we'll just go check black trader and we shall see so let's go for green nope okay all right i mean there were 10 green crystals on black trader but i mean come on really i only need one. Oh wait no i have two sorry okay there goes the gemstone and then we have two green crystals so now we need the green powder which I will go ask for after we cut. But now, we only have about two places to train now. That's right, beach is now irrelevant. If I can find a Wupa, unless they're about to... Okay, there we go. Yes, Rupas are now blue named to us, and Wupas are still blue named to us. Now, you have a decision here. 
because I'm going to kill a Lupa and show you how much EXP we're going to get from it. Now, since you know how much less we were getting from Lupus last time, 15 to 30, oof. That is quite low. Now, there's a, now there is something you can do here. You can, I guess you can, you know, stay at beach if you want, but I would never recommend that to anyone because for this low EXP, you might as well just go to some other place. Now, if you're at beach, you can go to the Cyrus officer, and if you click on him, go into Curse Laos, the borrowing fee is 777, I will board. There is a map here called Forest of Grave, and these monsters are blue. Okay, they are blue, but not these monsters. <laughs> now up here, there are, just like Woobas, there are different types of monsters. I mean, I don't know. gosh, I think there are bots here too. Jesus Christ, what the heck is happening here? Does anyone really farm foxes? Let's see, let's see. Just one, I need one. Okay, here we go, mature fox. Now for these guys, they are hittable. That's right, see? They're hittable and they get very nice EXP. Now again, I would always try to recommend, you know, training on, um, what is it? Things around your level. So that way, you know, you're not equally confused for how much EXP you will get. Luckily for me, I'm not going to be doing that. Instead, we're going to go to the lighthouse. But for the alternative, if you are in the lighthouse, you can come here. Because the lighthouse takes a long time, and I'd rather just train here. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much about it for a level 14 training. Um, I believe you can train in the pirate ship, but again, I don't, I, I lost my longsword, so we're gonna have to go get another one. And before we do the cut, I do want to see how much longswords are, because if I can buy one, I'd rather do that, because I already had one. So, let's see. Long, we look up the name, 83k. I really don't feel like doing enchantments on swords. So tedious. Very, very tedious. Oh, this one's good. Oh, wow, this one's very good. Well, I don't understand why it's 100. Oh, never mind. You know, now that it makes sense, yeah, this makes a lot of sense. It's amazing how this isn't enchanted. Unless someone crafted this, this up from the ground, I don't believe this should even be. You know, without any chance on it. But anyways, I guess we're gonna save up for the, you know, long sword. And we're pretty much just gonna be grinding green powder because I know exactly where it drops from, but I just didn't want to do it from last episode. But it seems like because you know everybody else is, you know, all the more boring, we're gonna have to go and pick it up ourselves. Now, since you if you're watching this right after the lighthouse video has come out, or before the lighthouse video has come out, which I did make it, I mean, I'm in the process of making it still, but I'm almost done, then yes, you should automatically be able to um, come up here into Mushroom Marshall. That's right, we're going back to Mushroom Marshall. I know what I said before about you know, never being with this place, but you know, now that the spiders are pretty much just gray name to us, they hardly do any damage. We can come over here to flowers, and if you kill these, you can get green powder. Now, it's not a common drop, but it's not too rare anyways. So, it might be a while. So, I'm going to cut, and either my brother will log on, or I will find 10 green powder myself. So, yep. I will see you guys in a little. I'm not sure why the recording stopped, but here we go. <laughs> Fungus King. I was training while I was grinding with popcorn, but then, you know, we got the materials. I was just about to go up to Kuhn and then re, you know, resume the video. But then the fungus king, I found him on my way. So, 
we'll just kill him here. Hopefully I get something. Come on. Come on. And what do we get? Gold and nothing else. Okay. Well, back to cutting. Wow, such a little pleasant trip and a half. So this is... Oh, wow, I killed that thing. Okay, yep, such a little pleasant trip and a half. So, if you guys must know, since the last cut that I did, that was about three hours ago. That's right, mm-hmm. Um, and so I'm not upset or anything, but I would like to say that anyone who bots in the beach, you are pretty... Not only are you botting just for the sake of botting, but you're also literally... How is it possible that there is no green crystal on the on the board? You know, the black trader. So it just makes no sense. The last time I seen there was green crystal, it was literally 10k. Like, what? Again, I don't need two. I mean, I don't need 10. I just needed one. And yet I keep finding the same 10 stack up there. It was nine, then it turned to 10, and then it was just all over the place. I'm not looking for anything that really benefited me in the reason that you might think, but the fact that there was absolutely nothing up there literally kind of shows that either this server is dead, which is, you know, again, most likely true, like I've said in my past video, or, you know, all these bots pretty much just sell everything. And for no reason whatsoever, do they ever put anything on the Black Trader? So they're not actually gaining any real money except for from botting and selling things to the NPC. Which makes no sense, because, I mean, how many long swords, how many, you know, slams have you guys, have those was dropped and you guys haven't picked it up? Like, you guys don't even organize your own inventory. At least the person in Katura Mountains actually has a freaking inventory and he's botting. You know, like respect to that guy. Not really much respect because, you know, he's botting in the first place. But at least he's actually managing their inventory. At least I hope they are because, you know, if you're dropping double shield four and you're pretty much just sitting there on it. Yeah, you guys might have mental issues selling to the NPC. But... We're not gonna say anything more. Instead, finally, I grinded on popcorn and uh, we got the green crystal and the green powder. So yay, after three long hours. Now it only took three long hours because you know I was, I was trying to figure out what the heck is going on. And it turns out there was no one even grinding green powder because it sells at the NPC Kana. But again, I already knew that. I was still posturing to myself, why is there no green crystal up here? Just no makes no logical sense in the common sense. So yeah, and Keeper's recommendation. I need green powder and mystic stone to make the key to enter the lighthouse. Here I bought them. Here, if you reflect this image against the statue, you'll be able to get in the lighthouse underground. Keep me informed. And now, we have the moment we that has been revealed for a long time, ever since three hours ago. The Angel's Tear. Finally, the item that will be able to get us in the Leia House for free without spending any gemstones or using anything gemstone-like. Said we'll, we'll be able to get in the Leia House. So let's go to the Leia House. I don't know why I'm teleporting. I literally am like a few seconds away. Also, you can see by my gold, by like how long it took me. Like I had 50k when we started the video and I've cut so many times that I just had to make a new recording for each piece. So three hours ago I had 57k and now I have 86,000. So yeah, I've been selling a lot of freaking items. All right, as Bud started to go, the door in the underground opened. Go in. And finally, what is this episode? Nine. At episode nine, we finally are in the lighthouse. Training with testing Lupus. Of course, it would be good to have, you know, a long sword, but with almost no ease. Okay, where is my? Give 
me my potion. Where did I put it? My bags are so messed up still. Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay, gosh. I go everywhere but where my things are. Bag management is a true la end game type thing. Because it's just there for everyone. Okay. Yeah, you know. Now here we are. Is this whoop -a pork meat? Okay, here it is. I knew there was whoop pork meat that actually healed you. I knew it. I just didn't know where it was. Or meat that actually healed you. So yeah, now we're in the lighthouse. Now we can come and go as we please. The only bad thing about like, being in lighthouse is that, um, well, if you die to monsters or people, you know, it's still a PKable map. But if you die to monsters or people, you will effectively respawn back at village. So it's best not to die in here unless you feel like spending the gold just to teleport back in here. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna shove this in here because this is gonna be my healing bag. I need to keep that in mind and not keep too many things out of bags. And put my tear, unless it's moved again. Where is it? Okay, never mind. I guess it didn't move. Oh, well, that's quite interesting. Usually it would come out of its bag instead of... Well, whatever. Okay, I'll take it. You know, we take wins when we can get them. <laughs> so yeah, pretty much testing Whoopas are level 15 monsters. And just like Whoopas, they are, I mean, unlike Whoopas, they are not very fast. They also do not hit the type of the exact same speed, but you know, they do hit harder, so that makes up for the cost of not being in hordes as much as you might think. But also, I wouldn't wonder around the lighthouse if I were you because, um, People tend to get lost on these floors and then they ask for help. And yes, I have had to help people in the past get out of the lighthouse floor. So please don't wander around. Know your exits, know your entrances, know the next floors, and be on your way. <laughs> because I'm pretty sure if you're calling for help, no one is going to know where you are because you don't even know where you are. You're just going to be calling for help and pretty much you're just going to get blacklisted because... Even I wouldn't want to deal with that. <laughs> Alright. But yeah, that's pretty much all for this video. You know, we got to the lighthouse. And we are now training on testing whoopers. In the next video, well, my next video will be me doing the lighthouse quest. Luckily, I already have the materials for that. I just didn't want to use them on Melee because I wanted her to, her to get them. Sorry. I wanted Melee to get them herself. But. She didn't, so yeah. <laughs> now, now we know the difficulties. And now I have to go grind more materials on my other account, along with the friend that was helping me the last time. But yeah, that's pretty much all for this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. If you guys did, leave a like, subscribe down below if you're at all new to the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye, everyone.